Happy Halloween Eve. <laughs> is that a thing? Well, it is a thing. But is it a thing? Anyway, um, not too much happening today. I've been getting stuff ready for our overnight guests tomorrow. So I have the downstairs all vacuumed and dusted. And I have a mattress down there for whoever, Siobhan, Will, neither of the kids would want to sleep down there. And I've got upstairs all done, changed, well, no, I didn't. I tidied up the beds. I put a, I sprayed a little bit of um, mattress or sheet, um, smelly stuff on the mattresses, changed the pillowcases and uh, cleaned the bathrooms and uh, made sure there's towels. So it's all ready for our guests um, for um, Halloween night. Now, the next day, November 1st, um, is Will's birthday. And I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, he's 40 this year. That's why they went to Arizona in September. And Ian and I helped them a little bit for that. But, you know, it's his birthday, so not not doing anything extravagant. We are going to have a nice birthday breakfast. Fox has asked if we are doing scrambled eggs, of course. And he has asked if he can help do the scrambled eggs, of course. So there's going to be scrambled eggs, and I've got some bacon and some sausage. <clears throat> and I am going to make apple cider donuts tomorrow for breakfast. <clears throat> so we did pick him up a few little things, or I picked him up a few little things, and Ian has picked him up some um, uh, some craft beer but this is what I got him this is one of his favorite candies a Reese's Pieces and I found these at Giant Tiger these are socks aren't they adorable I couldn't believe it. They had all sorts. They had, no, they had uh, licorice and uh, like Twizzlers. I think they had uh, some kind of chocolate, the dairy milk chocolate maybe. But these ones I saw and I thought, you know what? He likes Reese's Pieces. And then I thought, well, you know, if I'm getting him socks, I gotta get him a bag of candy too. So that's what he's getting from us for his 40th birthday. Breakfast and socks. Candy and beer. <laughs> and the other thing is Siobhan and Will's anniversary is November 3rd. And um, didn't really, uh, I guess the breakfast will be kind of a, a celebratory birthday slash anniversary breakfast. And I got, she's a huge plant mama. She loves plants. So I got her a plant. <clears throat> It's called an alocasia. Now, I didn't realize it when I bought it. I looked it up online to find out about it. And I didn't realize it when I got it, that it is fairly toxic to pets and people. But I mean, you know, her kids are old enough not to, not to, um, not to nibble on plants. So I'm gonna have to let her know that. She's gonna have to put that up high because her cats like to walk around on things she can't put it on the floor because, well, she's got the dog. So, oopsie, sorry, but it is very nice. All right, I have it all wrapped up for her. There you go. It supposedly will get quite large, so let's hope so. I've repotted it, put it in a new pot, brand new soil, so hopefully it will do okay. Ian is golfing today last golf game of the season because it is absolutely gorgeous today i mean here we are october 30th and it is 22 degrees and there is a, a humidex of 24. so it's lovely out there i sat out on the step and watched the birds at the bird feeder for a little while and it was very pleasant 
but I think that's going to be it for the day. Um, I probably won't put this up today because I don't want, excuse me, I don't want um, them to see their gifts. But I uh, will probably take some pictures tomorrow night. I will probably take pictures of the neighborhood if I get to go out with the kids. I we did la I did last year. I got out, I went out with Siobhan last year and it was fun. I enjoyed that. And it's supposed to be 20 <laughs> tomorrow night. So no big heavy jackets. I remember years where you're shoving your kid into a into a big jack and then you're trying to poke them into a costume that try to keep them warm. Not this year. This year they will be able to get away with maybe a sweater underneath their costume. Um, but anyway, so that'll be fun. So I'll take some pictures tomorrow night and I'll take some pictures of the kids and post what I can. And, um, and then Ian leaves on Friday uh, for, uh, no, not Costa Rica. If he was going to Costa Rica, I'd be going with him. Uh, he's going to Columbia for two weeks and uh, I have to take him to the train station tomorrow afternoon and to so he can get to tr uh, Ottawa and his friend is picking him up from Ottawa and they are going to Montreal to fly out of Montreal Saturday so that's it for today and I will see you um, if not tomorrow I will probably wrap this all up on Friday um, or Saturday, depending on when Siobhan and Will go and the kids go home. So, boy, this has been a, a great a great blogtober, hasn't it? Really exciting stuff here on Moore Street. <laughs> hi. <laughs> well, hi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. It is Saturday, November the second. Yeah, as I said, I wasn't didn't. I didn't get around to posting last night. By the time Siobhan and Will left, uh, I was ready to just relax, tidy up a little bit, have some supper, watch a hockey game, and go to bed. But anyway, uh, we did go out for Halloween night. It was awesome, yet again. And yes, it, the weather was fabulous. The kids didn't have to wear any jackets. They just put on their costumes and out we went. People were on their steps. <laughs> sitting on their steps giving out their treats i mean the it was there were more people out and about than probably there would have been the kids didn't last quite as long this year we were probably out for maybe 40 minutes at the at the most fox was ready to give it up um after after a bit i think he that kind of stuff just he just gets tired and he wants to go home and he wants to look at his his halloween haul so yeah, so we came home and uh, um, Siobhan and Will took Echo for a walk and we gave out more treats. Uh, Daphne loves giving out treats, so that was, that was good for her to do. We probably had, they kept a tally and I think they, we had close to 100 kids, which it was probably about the same last year, maybe a little bit more but I have lots of uh, potato chips and cheesies left over. So I am going to contact Holly and see if she like any, she would like any of them for kids lunches. I have a full box of potato chips left over unopened. So I'm thinking I might take that down to the food bank. Uh, not today, but uh, maybe next week sometime. And then yesterday, uh, November 1st, was Will's birthday. And he liked all his gifts. And they, we, they had, we had a great breakfast. Fox did make his scrambled eggs uh, if things were just happening so fast 
I didn't get a chance to take any pictures of anything of that. So, of course, it's a birthday. And what do you have on a birthday? Cake. But Siobhan said she asked the kids if they wanted to bake a cake for, for dad, for daddy. And they said, mm, no. But then they get here and they wanted to bake a cake. So I don't usually use a cake mix, but I always have a cake mix in my downstairs pantry. And so I did have, have a cake. Well, I had a couple of cake mixes. I thought I only had chocolate, but I had two cut types, but they decided they wanted chocolate. So we baked a cake, made icing, and, uh, and then they took it home with them, of course, because it was daddy's birthday cake. And Will, being the, the bestest son-in-law in the world, took Ian to the train station. Now, it's only a 20-minute drive, but it is, it is inconvenient for him to do, and I really appreciated him doing it. So he took Ian to the train station yesterday afternoon, came home, we hung out here for a little bit, a little bit longer, and uh, they went home... Yeah, they went home around three or so. And poor Ian, the train from where he was, and I know if you're look, if you're you're watching this from wherever you are, you don't know this area, whatever. Um, it's a Smith Falls train station, and it goes from Smith Falls to Ottawa. And uh, he, it was a convenient thing for him to do. I didn't have to drive him into Ottawa. And he was doing this as just as, as a convenience. But unfortunately, his train was uh, 45 minutes late. Now, it's a good thing that he didn't fly out last night. He was going to Ottawa. He was being picked up by his friend. And they were driving to Montreal. So that was kind of a, a poopy thing. But he got there. His friend picked him up. They got to Montreal. They parked the car. They went to their hotel. Had a sleep. I'm not sure how he slept, but you know, I, who sleeps well the night before a trip? And I just got a text from him uh, about, oh, what time is it? Yes, it's nine o'clock. So I got a text from him about 7.30 and they had boarded. And I'm assuming that they are going off. Now I probably can track his, his flight because I do have his flight number. He flies to Panama today. He gets in this evening or this afternoon. And then they fly from uh, Panama City to Bogota. So I assume that he will t let me know <laughs> when, he, uh, when he gets to Bogota. So today, well, as per usual, I didn't sleep well. And I was awake at 5 o'clock and couldn't get back to sleep. So I got up. And I have started, I've had a coffee, I've had some breakfast, and uh, like I say, it's nine o'clock now, I had a shower, I've got some laundry in. I have started uh, de-Halloweening. Oh, pardon me. So I have some of this stuff already out off the shelves, and that's what my kitchen counters look like right now. And yes, so that is going to be, um, oh yes, I'm, I've got some crazy crime show on. That is going to be my day today. Putting Halloween away, I'm going to put up a interim wreath on the door between, for between now and Christmas because it's too early, it's even too early for Christmas for me. Although I have seen, uh, I have seen videos on YouTube and online that people are putting out their Christmas stuff. I love Christmas, but um, December 1st is plenty of time for me to start putting out Christmas stuff. Maybe maybe a wreath on the door, but that's about it. I do want to clean out the shed, or not clean out the shed. I do want to tidy up the shelves for the pots that are still left to put outside. And I do have a plant that I wanted to repot, but we'll see. We'll see what happens because I might just decide this afternoon I want to sit and do some reading and have a little, have a little sizz perhaps. So 
that's probably it for now. Um, it's amazing the number of batteries that you accumulate when you are putting batteries in little battery packs for for battery operated lights. I don't know how many I have, so I I I'm always scared that of putting them away that they're gonna blow up or cause a fire or whatever. So I always uh, tape. Need to always t uh, can I do that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still blurry. Anyway, I always tape the the um, which side? That's the positive end with a little piece of tape, and store them in a, a plastic in a plastic bag. Um, I don't know if it's a false sense of security it gives me, but anyway. So I've got like I don't know how many, but anyway, they all go in a bag today too with a little piece of tape on them. So I think that's like I say. I think that's it for now. I will try to wrap up maybe later on this afternoon and um, yeah, see how the day goes, see what I can do. But this will be the end of my Vlogtober postings and I'm thinking I might just take short little videos uh, this week and maybe post at the end of the week and and keep you, keep you in the loop as to how my week has gone. I'm there is uh, I there is a secret that I'm keeping and I'm probably going to let it out of the bag sometime this week but it's it's concerning a, a, a name change anyway <laughs> just a little just a little dangle there really nothing that exciting but stay tuned I'll see you later bye okay I have um, Halloween all put away well it's boxed up it's not put away I have to reorganize my my uh, my storage area in the uh, in the basement um, because it's kind of all pulled apart I just pulled everything apart and I didn't I didn't really put anything back but anyway Halloween is put away for the most part a few little odds and ends that uh, will need to be uh, picked up and shove somewhere. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get out to do the shed today. I'm just not feeling like it. I'm just not inspired to do it. Um, it's a lovely afternoon. It's cool. I think it's, I think it's about five right now <laughs> and sunny, but I don't mind going out when it's like that. If I, you know, put a big sweater on and, and in the sunshine working like that, but I'm just not, I think being <laughs> up at five o'clock, I'm a little tired. So I don't think it's going to happen today. Maybe do it tomorrow. I'm hoping to get out tomorrow morning and go to the grocery store and pick up a few things for myself um, to have in the fridge. So I've just had lunch and I'm going to sit and watch some uh, some TV. I have uh, started well, I've started my Granny Square blanket. with my odds and ends and pieces of endlings of yarn. Some of it is worsted and some of it is, um, is sock yarn doubled. Yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be a nice blanket to throw over somebody in the, uh, in the winter watching TV or curled up reading a book or whatever. Um, what else? I did start the other little hat. But I've only that got that far. Just one row. <laughs> Just one row of ribbing. So maybe I'll work on that this afternoon. And I started, I got a good amount done on the chunky mitts. I think I might have to go and purchase another, another uh, skein of this because I don't think I'll have enough to, uh, to make a full mitt. But I'm looking forward to, oops, sorry, just dropped it. I'm looking forward to doing them because oh they look so nice and nice and warm and yeah I just like the look of them so yeah so I think I should be able to get those done for for a Christmas gift as long as I can get out and get another skein of that yarn 
Um, I haven't done, I haven't started any of these socks that I wanted to start. And, um, but we'll see. So this thing has to get done for Christmas and this has to be done. I'd like this done for Christmas. So I've got two projects to do. I don't know. We'll see. I think I will. I think I'll have them done, but, um, yeah. So, so yeah, so this afternoon, Granny's bl granny blanket, granny square blanket, and the hat. And uh, I think that will be it for me for today. So uh, I hope you have a good upcoming week, and I will probably post uh, later next week. So have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later.